welcome back people we've got some more fishing planet for you guys again today we are back playing a bit more with dad again you guys seem to like it when we're doing live streams with dad so uh yeah we're gonna be doing some with dad again today i don't know i think at the minute he's just getting himself ready so um whilst we're gonna be waiting for him i'm just gonna catch a few fish uh i'm gonna do a bit of boat fishing i think because dad does prefer to, dad prefers to fish off like off the rocks or off the side somewhere. So as daddy, daddy, I said daddy. Oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> as much. <laughs> oh my gosh! No one heard that. All right. Yeah. Moving on. So um, yeah. As my as my dad likes to fish off the rocks. We're gonna do a bit of boat fishing whilst we're waiting for him. He's uh, he should join us very soon. All right, let's jump into it then. Um, oh, hold on. Is that the right one? There we go. How's it going, Sonic? Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming to join us. Um, all right, yeah. So today, I said to Dad, where does he want to fish? And he said he wanted to go into Blue Crab, so I think that's where we're going, Bunnet. Yeah. Let's... I know that yesterday, I didn't move over... I had some bait in here. Let me, there you go, there it is. Okay, move. There you go. And then, if we change rod, go back to the backpack for a moment. Just double check, just to make sure that definitely did move over. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yesterday, I had to purchase some large minnows. It was a little bit expensive. I, I'm not really sure. I've got some medium cut bait as well. Mm. Alright, yeah. Let's head over into Blue Crab Island. We're gonna do a bit of boat fishing whilst we're whilst we're waiting for dad to turn up. Alright. I do plan to be quite busy today, so um, don't worry, there's still gonna be two videos today. Plus the live stream. But got a lot of things to do so I'm gonna be on my phone here and there just so I can post those videos as well as keeping the live stream going because I want to I want to try and be live for as long as I possibly can today with a bit of luck I hopefully can do it um, there we go. okay, there's that one waiting for that one all right perfect Let's start off with. Oh wow, wow! Yo, la, 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 la. I don't know where that music come from. My phone was on. Good job it won't. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know. I want to try here. I do want to try over here. I've never. I don't think. I don't think I've ever. No, I have fished from here. I think I got some rock bass from here once before. From this location. Over there, I've got some rock bass, but I'm, I think, as I said, I might, yeah, we're gonna do a bit of boat fishing. We could do a little bit of that later. I'm gonna jump on the boat, and then I have a few on the boat. Oh, there you go, Dad's already joined. Oh, well, um, maybe we ain't doing boat fishing yet. Maybe we're going straight in with it then. Uh, okay, there he is. Um, I don't know if he's watching the stream, but hopefully he is, and if he is, how do you fancy catching some, um, how do you fancy catching some snook and some, some gar over this way? Is it gar? I can't even remember. I don't know. I think he's going straight for tarpon. Alright. <laughs> he's going for tarpon. I'm sure that I, let me take out my map. Oh, okay, I don't even have any. Was that the marker? I don't think it was because over there that's for bass. Um, all right, we'll fish here for a little bit, and then I'll oh, oh, someone else is already there. Okay, yeah, we're following Dad then. There you go. Decision has been made. Simple as that. So we're fishing in a random room. We'll see how it goes. Sometimes it's not always it's not always that good, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. If it ends up being a little bit crazier, then we'll of course just 
go into a private room. We'll see, we'll see in the public room what else other people are catching. He's fishing on the boat. Is he gonna is he gonna stand on the boat and fish or you know what I'm kinda of tempted to try over there a little bit because I know we can get tarpon over there. I think he might have heard me. Alright. I think he might have the same idea. We'll follow him. So over here we can get some flounder over here, but it, that's more in the night time. But we can also get some uh, some tarpon kind of around here. I don't know. I don't know if he's lost his way or whether he. I don't know what he's doing. I have no idea. Okay, let's change it over. Maybe get some. Medium cut bait. Oh, I think I think Dad is up for fishing here. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a different spot compared to what we would normally fish, so that's good. And let's change. I'm gonna change that hook. I'm gonna put on. I think four or five. Let's put on a four. Do you know what? It's been that long since I've fished for flounder. Uh, marshmallows, medium cut bait, pet food. Mm. Medium cut bait. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can use lures, but it's a soft bait. Sheds. Okay, well I guess we're, I think I really need to, oh yeah, I, have got, I was going to say, I think I need to go over more that way. I see over there, I've got a few markers, what are they for, let's have a look. I think they're, yeah, I was going to say, I did think they were for the flounders, yeah, see, I caught that on the buzz bait, and then we got some red drum, I caught that on the buzz bait as well. Let's move over that way. Uh, did I catch that at night? I'm sure I caught it at night. Oh, wow, okay, I caught that on a sunny day. Late evening. Maybe I might mess around with the, the lure rod then. I said we'd do a bit of boat fishing, messing around, so why not? Let's change that. Hopefully I got a buzz bait on me. I think I have. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so normally I wouldn't drop my anchor, but the fish that we are fishing for are not that big, so I'm pretty sure I'll be okay to drop the anchor down, so I'm going to do that. There we go. Just so that way we don't keep on moving. And we'll get a decent range of casts with this one as well. Because it's definitely been a short minute since I've fished off the boat, that's for sure. 
think I'll probably do stop and go because otherwise that's going to lift up too high. <clears throat> so I am definitely streaming a lot earlier than what I normally would. That's for sure. Normally I wouldn't start until I've like gone 12, but as I said, I wanted to try and stream for as long as I could today. I wanted to try and put in a good amount of hours plus still putting out those videos. <clears throat> See, I'm early morning, really. I need to change the time. <clears throat> oh, onto a permit. That was a pretty cool take, to be honest. It, it literally went for it as I was just near the top of the surface. That was on our first cast. All right, let's have a look at the... Get to about 7 p.m. That's a bit better. This is definitely light. The stop and go is the is the way to do it. <clears throat> oh, have we oh okay, we snagged onto something. to keep that <clears throat> wow this is definitely a, an earlier morning I remember when I went for a stage of waking up every morning about 4 30 have some coffee <laughs> get on the game for like five o'clock in the morning and I was streaming from like 5 till, I think 5 till 9, early hours in the morning, crazy time. I, I, I don't even know why I started streaming at that time, that was a little bit crazy. It just made me tired, I didn't get to sleep till about 1, and then I'd wake up most of the time about 4, crazy times. There we go, we hooked into one though, I think that could be a tarpon. Well I don't know actually, it doesn't look like tarpon, it could be a drum. We got a good light rod set up here 46 pound rod set up so we'll definitely have some fun with it rather than just speed reeling wow it's, an, it's actually a permit that could be a unique then there's a possibility i don't know is it yeah it's a permit i'm sure it is yeah cool this one is Definitely given a really good fight. Come on. So tomorrow, I think, I think it might be tomorrow. Tomorrow we got a new, a new game that comes out. So we might be live streaming that tomorrow. I can't say what it is because I don't want to spoil it, but it should be tomorrow. Well, this one is, I'm very sure this one's going to be a unique. That wouldn't be too bad, would it? Second fish, a unique. I think Dad's using bait. Pretty sure he is. See, I could have used the other spinning rod, but if I used that, it would be too easy to reel in. It's more challenging when you're using that lighter gear. It's the same as when you fish in real life. Use that all that heavy gear all the time. You don't really get much play with the fish. Hmm. 
My sunset. Still keeping me at over 100 foot is definitely, definitely fighting good. Now I know what you guys are thinking. I should have left that anchor, should have left that anchor up and I would have been able to reel it in a lot faster. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And there was me saying about not putting the anchor, putting the anchor down because... It's not going to take too long to reel in, but I am using a 46 pound rod setup, so I think after this cost, I will actually, yeah, I won't leave the anchor down, I'll keep the anchor up, and we'll be, we'll be able to reel it in a lot quicker. Cool, could you imagine if that was a tarpon on there, 150 pound tarpon, that, that's going to take us a short minute, isn't it? Yo, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Almost there. I'm pretty sure this one's going to be a uni. If not a really decent sized trophy, that's for sure. No, that, that's definitely got to be unique. There we go. Yeah, there you go. I thought it would have been a unique. That's not bad, is it? Second fish. Second, yeah, nice. Not bad. Unique permit. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing good, man. Good to see you. Thanks for dropping by. I got the uh, Paddy's Day outfit on. The update for that should hopefully be very soon, one day this week. Yeah, I'm good as well. Thanks, man. Doing good on that YouTube grind. Nearly sixty pound. That's not that's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Right, I'm gonna sit back in the boat. <laughs> this time I am gonna lift the anchor up, even if. Uh, we have to keep repositioning the boat. We'll do that. That's not bad. I haven't, I haven't caught a unique permit for a short minute as well. In fact, I think the last time I did, I, I made a video on it because somebody said, um, you can't catch unique permit on bait. No, you definitely can. Well, I made a video on it. That was definitely the last time I caught unique permit. I think it is quicker, though, to catch it. Oh, we snagged. Yeah, it definitely is quicker to catch that permit using the buzz bait though, compared to compared to using bait. So I'm sort of casting in between both of my markers there. I'm casting. We've got that marker there. I've got those two. So I'm sort of just straight down the middle of them two. Not too bad, but bad weekend. All my teams got beaten. Uh, I have no. What do you mean teams? I have no idea, man. Like, like football teams, basketball team, or oh, we had a bit of interest there. I was looking at chat. I didn't didn't hit strike. That was pretty decent, man. I can't believe that. Nice, nice size, unique permit. Got notifications coming through like crazy. Always the wait. As we're getting, what's the time now? Seven thirty. So as we're getting closer towards the. 8 p.m. mark. I think that's when we might end up hooking into a flounder. Not really. It's not like I'm targeting permit at this point, nor am I targeting tarpon or or drum or anything like that. Although I can catch all of that around this area, I'm not targeting a Pacific fish. I'm just just want to catch fish. That's all. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, man. <laughs> you 
can't you can't win all the time. That's the way life is. You can't win all the time. There we go. That was a bit of a slow take, that one. There's a permit, though. Yeah, that's better. Because the boat moves a little bit. Although that one was just a small one. I need to tell Dad to come fish over here. I don't know if he's got these markers. Um, and I don't know if he's... If he's watching the stream, Dad, if you are watching the stream, come over, come over this way. I'm pretty sure he's got those those markers. It's hard sometimes to tell which markers are mine and which ones are Dad's because I know them two there are definitely mine for the flounder because I caught the flounder. I tried to catch as soon as this lake dropped. That was the first thing I went for was flounder. Oh, that was really loud. That's one thing I don't miss too much about blue crab is keep on hearing that, that plane go over. Especially when you're really relaxed, it's late at night, you're sort of half awake, half asleep on your computer, and then all of a sudden that comes over. Yeah, it's lovely. Uh, there should be an update this week. Here we go. My controller vibrated then before it even, before I even see the hit. There we go. They're not a bad fish to catch those permit. They do put up a decent fight even, even if they're not unique. They put up a good fight. Great the sink. Don't forget, guys, smack that like button. It lets me know that you, you're you enjoying Fishing Planet. As I always say, the more likes I see, that makes me want to stream Fishing Planet more. It lets us know that you're, you're still enjoying it. Some people get a little bored of me playing it because uh, I play it for a serious amount of time. <laughs> seven ye Over seven years now we've been playing this game. and I, I am far from even getting close to bored of it because... It's nice when those new lakes come out, you know, especially when I find out that there is a new a new lake coming. I do it gets me hyped up, it is nice. Probably gets some of you hyped up as well for the people that are kinda like how me and dad are, we're max level. We don't really need cash. We don't need XP, we don't really need anything and we're kinda just fishing the same lakes over and over. I was kinda tempted to go to Sand out as well as Coming here, blue crab. I like. I don't know which one I would put, choose to. I don't know which one I prefer, blue crab or or sand delta. They're both really good places. This place is nice because it's so big. That's what that's what I like about this place. This is a big, big lake. Uh, yeah, when I say lake, yeah, not quite a lake, but still. Yeah, it's a nice big open area. There's many places. Oh, we snagged. Yeah. There's many places we can go. Lots of different fish to catch. And send out, although I do like catching striped bass and those salmon that give up a good fight as well. <clears throat> five people in a room you can have ten people in a room when you're on PC but when you're when you're on console you can only have up to five in a room a bit of a late reaction for me there. Is he coming over this way a little bit? Yeah, there you go, that's better. Yeah, 
Nearly 17 pound. Not too bad. And when it gets to about 8.15, it's coming towards 8 now. So, yeah, when it gets to 8.15, we'll put on the put on a bit of medium cut bait see if we can get a few flounders here at this time love the game but can't stand cheats Do you know I don't really think I've come across really many like normally in a lot of games you get a lot of strange things happening and yeah, a lot of people cheat and are using hacks. I haven't really seen that that much on Fishing Planet. When I say that much, I don't think I've ever. I've seen a couple of game glitches where like your 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 boat gets stuck or something like that, but I haven't really, as far as I know, anyway. I haven't actually ever seen anyone hacking or cheating or anything like that on fishing. On this game, anyway. Although I yeah, I definitely bet there is someone who can. And do something that's weird, yeah. I don't doubt that for a second. It's definitely, definitely cold today. It was cold yesterday. It was sure cold today. I think I had a, I think I had a little bit of a bite then. My controller vibrated. Eight oh four. So we got enough time for one more cast real quick and then we'll put on a bit of bait is that following that no it's just the line in the water okay and we'll have one more cast then we'll throw on a little bit of bait and we'll I'm up for some drum or some some flounder either way. Watch someone catch trophy carp every 30 seconds with with one rod. Yeah, I've never seen that in a comp. Yeah, yeah, I I definitely believe in 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 comps. There's there's some weird stuff that goes on. Uh, that I don't doubt because it's always the same people that win every single time, no matter what. I don't I don't. Oh, I missed it. No way. Yeah, personally myself, I don't bother with comps because that they are fixed. I know there's some weird stuff that goes on there. I can't 100% prove it or say, you know, maybe there might not be, but just my personal opinion, I have tried comps before and, yeah, it's, yeah, I don't. Something weird happens. Something weird, that's all I'm saying. We'll have one more just because I did miss that. We did have a bit of interest, but I didn't strike at the right time. Yeah, I definitely believe some weird stuff goes on. <laughs> um, even even me and Dad have done it before, where we end up, uh, both of us have done done a comp. It was a long, long time ago, last time we did it. Maybe, maybe they could have changed things a little bit now. Maybe, maybe it might be a little bit better. I think I missed it again. Can't believe that. There we go. I didn't miss it that time though. Did not miss it that time. Perfect. That was actually a nice strike. Satisfying when you get that on the on the fin rod like this, like a spinner rod, rather than a thick old pole. And that's why, that's exactly why I left my anchor up rather than down this time. That looks like a drum. There's a drum taking my bait. Well, I say bait, buzz bait. That, that is a drum, isn't it? 
Is it a drum or is that? I don't know what it is. It's running hard though. That's nice. It's weird sometimes when you can't see the the, the tip of the rod like. That is a drum. I see its fins. Oh. A drum on a buzz bait. That's not bad, is it? It's, I think I have had that once or twice before, but not very often. More, more so you catch a drum on bait, or at least I've always caught drum on bait anyway. One player wins all. Yeah, they do. They always seem to come first. It's always the same people. Not even on PC, yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying they are cheating because there's no physical proof of it, but it just seems a little bit, a little bit strange how the same, same person always wins no matter what. Well, that's why, that's why I had a good fight. Trophy black drum. I just gotta mute my phone, uh, mic one sec because I got a call. Uh, sorry, I'm just on the phone, Dragon. Good to see you, man. I'll uh, be back with you in one second. Yeah, just quickly talking on the phone. Sorry about that. That was uh, that was Mrs. Bubbly's. If I didn't answer, she wouldn't have been happy. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't tell her I was going live, so I had to quickly answer the phone. <laughs> I get told off. Yeah, good to see you, Dragon. I hope you're. I hope you're doing good, man. How's things? That saw a raffle double the everyone else. Hmm. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, man. Been a uh, been really busy um, on YouTube. Just yeah, just been really busy this month alone. I've um, oh, I missed it. 
this month alone I've put out so many videos and I've tried to live stream more I've been I missed it no way what was that that looked like a tarpon yeah this month alone I've been putting out live streams plus I've been putting out two a minimum of two videos a day but I have yeah just really busy making content that's all other than that we're good I think someone's watching me live on Steam, yeah. See, I am live... Any, anytime I play this game, I am live... Oh, I'm snagged. I am live on uh, Steam, so you're able to watch me. But I just don't ever bother to put my mic on Steam. More program drinks? Oh. Yeah. Uh, when I, yeah. When I get some more cash, I will purchase another Prime drink, but... <laughs> Trying to find them is hard work, but then trying to buy them, how much they cost. I paid £15 for one, for one of them, it's insane. And then the, the last one I had, the ice pop, uh, I don't know if that one was more sweeter than the, the blue bottle. It was really, oh, it gives me the shiver. It was really cringy. Yeah, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't nice. That video was too funny. <laughs> yeah, I put, I've done... Um, I've done two different videos now on Prime. Yeah, I don't. I, I just. I can't do sweet stuff. Third score, eighteen hundred second. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the thing, Alien. I don't. Yeah, that's why I don't do comps. It's always the same people, always winning. It's a little bit strange. Caught that at the last second, didn't we? Trophy red drum. You know what the. That buzz bait is really, really decent. I'm gonna use it until it actually gets dark. I did say till, till 8:15. We're now like 8:44. As soon as it goes darker, then I will. I'm gonna put on the medium cut bait more for the flounder. And if we're catching fish like this at the minute, we might as well just stick to the, keep doing it this way. Why not? It's working. There you go. Told you. It's working well. And instead of just permit, at least we're pulling out a couple of different fishes as well. Some black drum, some red drum. This is more red drum. Nineteen pound. I don't think Dad's lure using lure. I think he's using bait. I like that them little small boats there. The the dinghies. I quite like those. I mess around with them trolling sometimes. Put the engine on real slow, cast your rod back. It's a, it's quite a satisfying feeling. You can only do it with that one though. Well I say only that one, you can either do it with that or the uh the other cheaper, smaller boat. As long as it's got a motor like that, outboard motor on the back. One with an engine like this and a Gary Scott, it doesn't quite work. I missed that because I was reading chat. Try Buzz and X Series Soft Bait. I don't know if I have that soft bait. There's a possibility I could, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I've heard a little bit about new lakes coming and stuff, but I haven't put um, any video out on it just yet. Oh, Dad left. Maybe he lost connection or he's got, he's got something to do. I don't know what he's doing. Um, yeah, I'll keep on hearing about an update coming, but I, I, I don't ever say there's an update until the developers tell me there's an update. Once the developers tell me there's an update, then I'll tell you guys because I don't ever want to clickbait it and say there's an update and then it doesn't come out and then my ear gets bent because I told wet welly boot lies. So <laughs> yeah, but when it when when the update does come or if there is any update or anything like that, obviously 
I'll always make videos on it, but until then, I'm not set. The only update that I know of so far is uh, the Paddy's Day, St. Patrick's Day. That should be this week. That's the only thing that I'm saying other than that. There's no actual proper confirmation from anywhere that there is an update coming. People, some people, oh, the amount of times I missed it there. Sometimes some people just say there's an update when there isn't. Some people just do that. They like the attention. But I've always said I wouldn't clickbait. I always just say it, you know. I always say it how it is. I don't believe in clickbait and it's pointless. A lot of people tell porkies because they want to they wanna get those views up, don't they? Or, or for, I don't even know for what reason. Oh, but yeah, just views, that's the only reason I could think of why they'd do it, but I don't myself. I think I'm gonna put on a five. And we'll wait one more minute until the night time, it's nearly night. I think actually I caught the flounder, that was early hours in the morning, so I might have to skip time forward a little bit. I think I caught it around about one-ish. If I remember, yeah, I think it was about one, but if we go to 12, we go to midnight. <clears throat> yeah, there, there's, there's always quite a few updates for like competition updates and stuff, but yeah, as I said before, I don't, I don't ever bother to do, I don't ever bother to do those competitions. It just seems uh, seems a little bit strange sometimes the way they're, it's always the same people, you know. What is it, normally like it's like top 10 or something, isn't it, normally? Top 10 people that can be on the leaderboard or whatever it is, but yeah, I don't know, it always seems a little bit a little bit funny, iffy, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure, what was Dad doing? Come up saying that he left, oh, we've got a bit of interest there. Oh, that's a good size, that's gotta be drum, yeah. Pretty sure a flounder wouldn't take like that. Trophy black drum. Did he join, did he join back? Wrong button, that button, there you go. I want to drop him. I want to drop him a message quick. See if he see if he comes back on. I don't know what he's doing. He might have lost lost connection. Possibly I don't know. Did he? Yeah, mm -hmm. right, he said uh, he's got some bits to do, so <coughs> and that was perfect timing because just as just as that happened. We got a we got a fish on. I'm sure it was about one o'clock. So let's 
get to one. I think it's like between one and two o'clock, something like that. <clears throat> Finished in top three for nine in a row, then five with best score. Really frustrating. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, man. Like, I'm not really a competitive guy as well, you know? Like, I, I just like to play my game and share my tips. And if I can catch fish f at a fast pace, you know, I kind of want other people to catch fish at, the f at a fast pace. If I'm, if I'm having a good time in the game, I want other people to. That, that's, you know, that's really what I'd prefer. I'd rather the guy next to me catch that big, unique fish rather than me, you know? I'm not, I'm not a competitive guy. As long as I'm having a good time and... If any of my knowledge helps other people, well, then that's a good thing. How's it going, man? Good to see you again. Yeah, we're doing good. We was just fishing with Dad, but he's got a he's got a couple of bits to do today. He's got a few things to do, so he he ended up leaving. He might come back later if he's got enough time, but depends on uh, how long it's going to take him to do his bits that he's got to do. <clears throat> We're looking around here, seeing any flounder about tonight. Well, I say tonight; it's early, it's after morning for me still, but night game time. Thanks everyone who's dropped a like on the stream as well. I appreciate it. it. Let's us know that you're still enjoying Fishing Planet, and that's always the most important thing. Waiting for that. We'll try. We will try a little bit of daytime because I think for the last stream that we did, in the last live stream, I think we we fish mainly night. So we'll have a couple of more fish here, but then we'll jump to the morning and well, we we'll, we we'll go grab ourselves some tarpon or some snook or something, long long nose gar or whatever. <clears throat> Helped you with some of the missions. Oh, that's good, man. That's good. As that I, I literally have done every single mission. I did enjoy those. Is I hope that um, I know they bring more missions out, like when a new lake drops, and obviously I do that mission. But it's a shame they didn't um, kind of have more missions, like refresh every every at least three months. It would be good. Like every three months, a new mission keeps dropping. That would be. Three months is quite a gap, but I say three months because to put that amount out of updates, it would take a short minute, wouldn't it? Almost forgot to press the thumbs up. <laughs> Almost. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right. Well, uh, we ain't done too bad fishing here, though. We've had like three hundred. We got three hundred nine pound in in the net. Yeah, we do need more, yeah. But then, you know, the fishing planet, they were based in Ukraine. I don't know if they still are. And they had a lot of stuff going on over there, didn't they? So, um, yeah, I kind of... I understand that there wouldn't be an update of, of a new lake right yet because, yeah, obviously, there's stuff that they've got going on over there. I keep seeing that line moving a little bit. I might have a bit of interest. Maybe, maybe not. That could be where it's rolling around on the bottom as well. <clears throat> it's a one, I'll give it till like 125. I'm not gonna hang out too long. I'll give it till 125. If nothing happens, we'll we'll move over. We'll catch something else. <clears throat> That's why I always like to use more than one rod. Just keep my hands busy. That's why I don't do much boat fishing. 
that is that is the main reason when you're boat fishing you're just yeah it's not too bad using the lure if you're using the lure boat fishing that's all right do you know what that's what i'm going to quickly do we'll have a couple of casts with the lure rod because uh that was working well i don't know how it's going to be in the night time but we'll have a couple of casts and then we'll change spot <clears throat> Uh, no, I don't alien. Uh, have you have you played it yourself? Is it is it any good? Miss that one. <laughs> the vibration in this new controller I've got. Is, is really really light vibration I don't feel it nowhere near as good as the other controller that I used to have I'm gonna need to next week I'm gonna need to purchase the uh, original Xbox controller again I think it's so light we are playing on PC today by the way if anybody was interested we play on PC we play on PS5 and then when we play on iOS on mobile as well although I haven't actually played on mobile Fish and Planet for a, for a little bit and that is just because I don't have money for premium <laughs> I don't fish without premium I don't like it <clears throat> you lose too much money you can gain so much cash by always having premium It is okay, but it needs a bit more work. Yeah. Some games are like that. How's it going, Hansa? Good to see you, man. After this, we'll have one more cast and we'll move spot. Off to the gym. That's good, man. Keeping keeping fit, keeping healthy and stuff. Gym's really good for mindset. Have a good day, man. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, okay, we unsnagged it. I thought we was going to end up bringing in another branch there for a second. Alright, well that's that. It weren't meant to be any more fish. It weren't meant to be. Let's move over to there, and then we'll move back to there. Save us the drive. There we go. Let's have a look, see if anyone's up here. See if anyone's fishing here now. Alright, there ain't perfect. Good stuff. Alright, let's jump forward. The peak time's more at the evening, but I'm going to fish early morning. Why not? I always fish early morning, it always works. I don't, it's not very often I pay attention to times, unless it's a bit of a picky fish, where it can be a little bit of a pain. And that's more of a flounder than anything else. Again, you don't need your rod stand up that high, I just do that because 
see fishermen in real life. That's the only reason. We'll have a look, see if we can get ourselves some well, some long nosed gar here. Bit of snook as well. So, yeah. I think maybe that hook might be a little a little big maybe using a six actually. Probably should have changed it. The gar, the garfish are greedy. I know that. In Florida, they're, they're the same way. They're greedy fish. Uh, let's change this one though. Put some shiners on there. Oh, actually, yeah. We'll do one with large cut bait. Go good stuff. We'll leave those out. Then whilst we do, we'll change to this one. We'll have a few casts for this. Let's see if we get a chance before one of those rods go off. I see a lot of movement down there. I said if we get a chance. Oh, is it going to run? Oh, there you go. I don't know if that's going to run, but we got to we got to run on this rod. Well, that was pretty quick, wasn't it? I think that's a snook. What was that? No, that's red drum, isn't it? No, that's, that's got to be snook, surely. Yeah. We can't show it that long. I will normally show it longer than that, but when we've got another fish on, we've got to try and be quick so we don't miss that next fish. There we go. Another, another snook. I'm going to cast this one though before I pick up that one. Just because I'm greedy. <laughs> I like to have as many lines in the water as I possibly can. <coughs> now, what we got? Oh, trophy bowfin. You can add a bowfin for a short minute. Nice. Medium cut bait. There's another snip by the looks of it. Yep. Yeah. That bell sounds so much better than the other ones. Back to back fish, not bad. There you go, there's a long nose guy. Wait for it to stop moving as much. No, he ain't moving, he wants to get back in the water. See, although we're not fishing at a really good peak time, we're still catching fish. That's why sometimes I don't always bother to look at the peak time. I just start early morning and away I go, and most of the time it works like that. As long as you're fishing in the right spot, that's, that's the main thing. Yeah, it is. Rather than feeling a vibration in the controller, I hear, I more hear it. It makes a strange noise. 
for the vibration. I hear the noise before I feel the vibration. There's next to no vibration there. Another bow fin. a better size could be oh no it ain't that one felt like it had a bit more fight as well and yeah it's only a 12 pounder oh, look at that i was it in one hand no problemo oh, i got a message got a message <laughs> Don't know why it's making that clicking sound as I'm typing. Add it on silent. Smack my mic there. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't like it. I weren't happy with it. I'm surprised one of those rods didn't go off then. We've got five people in this room. We'll keep an eye there. See what else other people are catching. I think I noticed someone would catch a shoal bass, weren't it? Yeah. They're nice looking fish. The shoal bass, they are nice. In fact, actually, that's what we might try in a minute. Might try to go for some of those as well. It's been a short minute since I've caught them. That was at the little dock bit, as I said. I'm going to give that a go. It's a bit of a bigger gar. A greedy fish. When you're fishing in Florida Everglades, they do nothing but just always take your bait. Oh, I missed that. I don't know if that was going to go into a snag or whether that was a fish. That's a fish. This buzz bait is just, it's absolutely king in this place, isn't it? Well, this, this, this could be a unique, could be, it had a, had a good fight to it. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Look at that. That's actually a really nice looking fish, that. Yeah, nice. It's not bad. 35 pound. You can always rely on the buzz bait to never let you down. Works good. I want to try over at the other bit for the shoal bass. So I'll reel this in and then I'm going to try over the other side. 
It's nice to come back and fish in this place though. It's been a definitely been a short minute since I come into blue crab. I think the last time I come here was when I made one of those little short clips. That was a that was a short minute ago though. Oh, that was a really weird take, that one. I definitely think I did strike too fast, though. Alright. Let's jump on our boat. I don't know, do, do I go for the shoal bass, or shall I go for the speckled bass? Let's first, first we go over here, we'll, we'll fish here for a little bit and then we'll move around on the boat and stuff. Alright, um, it's been a minute since I've caught these shoal bass, I would have thought minnows, but small minnows, but let's have a quick look. Um, shoal bass, yeah, small minnows, I would have thought, would have thought small minnows. Definitely need a bit of a smaller hook on there, that's for sure. Mm, we'll have some two watts and, and three, I think. I have got small minnows on me, haven't I? I should have. Yeah, there you go. Okay, small minnows, small minnows. Just throw it on every rod for a minute. There you go. And then we change the hook. So I want a couple of two watts, couple of three watts on there. So two there, two there, a three, and a three. All right. We're not really at a peak time. What other bait was it? I think I could probably use shiners as well. I can't remember. Let's have a let's have a quick look. Where is it? There you go. Yeah, sm yeah, I thought so. Small minnows is that a casting spoon. Um, I might mess around. You keep using the buzz bait here for a little bit and see see how it goes. Mm. From this spot, I've never caught. Uh, well, oh no, I've never, I've never tried to catch flounder from this spot. I have further down the map, but not not from this location now. Although, I'm pretty sure you could. If you had flounder from, from this location yourself, have you? Don't forget to smack that like button as well, guys. It lets us know you're still enjoying Fishing Planet. The more, the more likes we get on the stream, that always makes me come back and stream more of it. Just so that way I know you guys ain't bored. <clears throat> I'm going to put a few of these out. And then I probably should have really changed the time actually. But it doesn't matter. Okay, I think the one that's snagged is the one that I just put down. By the boot, no. Was it that one snagged? No. Right, was this one? It was the very first one. There you go. Yeah, so that the other person there is catching a uh, shell bass, but they're not. They're not at this location. They're right there. I think they're catching it over there. There's a few different places you can catch them. But I wanted to have a I wanted to have a go with that buzz bait over this way as well. Well, that didn't take long, did it? <coughs> I love to cut catch bass in real life. That's why I like catching the striped bass. They're a really good size. These as well, good fun. Large mouth, especially you get a good size and catch it on a light rod. They are good fun. Mm. 
<clears throat> both in. I will show the fish longer, but as I said, if we got another fish on, I gotta try and be quick to get that next fish. <laughs> wow. It took off quick. Another bow fin. That's what happens. If you always fish the right spot, you always use the right hook and right bait. It's always going to be a fast pace of fishing. Another bow fin. Yep. Yeah. I want to try and use that buzz bait if I get a chance. Let's see if, <laughs> if these rods don't keep going off. That's a bit glitchy there, I don't know. It kind of zoomed through my rods. Well, I heard the sound of a fly then. I actually seriously thought that was in real life. I thought that was actually in my room. It made my head turn over and look look to one side. <laughs> there you go. That's the one that was snagged. Right, let's see if I quickly get a chance. Quickly try and use this. Oh well, that's unfortunate. They cast and straight into a snag. Try again. <clears throat> there we go. Let's see if we get any interest here. Using this buzz bait, be I, w I would be surprised if we didn't, because no matter where you use the buzz bait, it always seems to work really well. Yeah, well done, man. Good to see you, Steve. <laughs> yeah, Blue Crab Island, indeed. Yeah. <clears throat> Good sized bass by the looks of it. Trophy, yeah, not bad. A bit of movement on the water there. I knew that was going to happen. In all honesty, if you come to this place, even if you don't have a, have a bait rod, just using a, a lure rod is going to catch your fish at a fast pace for sure as well. Let's go back with this. Missed it. I don't know if that, that that could have been a little bit of a snag there. I don't know. It's either a snag or a fish. It was one or the other. And again, again, that was a really, that was a really weird take. That. I striked and at first it didn't want to. I think that's is that a shoal bass or a large mouth? No yeah, large. Looked a little bit like a shoal bass there. It'll probably be the first time if I ever do get a shoal bass on this buzz bait. I've never tried to catch it with buzz bait. I've always used normal bait, so if we end up hooking one up on on this lure. Might be a little surprised. Um, there you go. There's another hit. I'm getting more on the buzz bait than what I am from the actual bait rods. There you go. It's probably the first time I've caught it on a on a lure as well. To be honest, 
Nice shell bass. Maybe I, I should put a little bit bi bigger hooks on those rods. They, oh wow, there you go. There's another take. We've got plenty of takers. Yeah. Yeah, it works well. You can use different color, different color ones, but... Wow, we had a catfish. That's a bit greedy. <laughs> it has been done before, though, many times. Catching catfish on lures and stuff. That's when you know the fish are hungry. Catfish, most of the time, they would take on, on bait, but... Yeah, they have taken on lures quite a few times. There it is again. There was a little bit of a slow reaction from me there, but we still hooked it. Another large male. Missed it. Now well, some of these fish are trying to take this lure. It's it's, it's a little weird. The speed around. Again, that fly got me. Trophy brown bullhead. Oh yeah, maybe I should have put on a bit bigger hook. Uh, some coffee's due soon. It's like 20 to 12 my time. <clears throat> I need to definitely make a little get. Well, I say make. I could. I can't make. I can purchase. <laughs> I need to purchase a little small coffee machine. I think. Oh, I missed it. Purchase a little small coffee machine and put it in my in my front room, right near my desk. So I, can, I got coffee on tap. <laughs> I am seriously thinking about doing that though. Saves me keep getting up, coming away from when I'm live streaming. That's the that would be the main time I would use it. You just got your coffee, nice. I used to be quite a big fan of tea. Well, I say I used to. It's kind of strange because I always drink coffee all the time. But when I go to my dad's house, I drink tea. Like he 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 he's he's crazy for tea. He drinks. Dad drinks a crazy amount of tea. I couldn't tell you how many cups he has in one day. It's a lot though. It is yeah. It's definitely a lot. And because he drinks a lot of tea, when I go to his house, I miss that one. When I go to his house, I always drink drink tea. But if I'm at my house or I go to anyone else's house, um, I always, yeah, always coffee. <clears throat> Can't be, especially when it's when it's really cold out. When it's really cold, get yourself a nice nice coffee. It is it is perfect. It's the, it does the job. 
That fly again. Got me again. How does it keep getting me every time? You know what? Real quick. Um, such a big area. Let's cross down this way near these near these couple of trees over here. That's where fish would hide out. We are kind of below the peak time right now though, so we're probably at the lowest point of the water, but that's alright. Again, another strange, a strange take on that. It's weird. Mm, nice peacock bass. people in this room now let's see still five people there you go looks like a bit of a bigger fish this one Is that a large mouth oh that's not bad is it Never ever cast over there in my life, but as I said, fish always hide around trees and edges and stuff like that. So that's why, that's why we found that. I'm probably going to set a marker for that one, just in case anyone asks me in the future. Uh, yes, how many, how many markers do we have? Uh, so if I press. That one. Oh, it's A. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't. Oh, my gosh. What am I doing? Remove. Yes. I want to. So we got 248, 330. And buy some more, some more of those. Can I not buy? Why is it? I was going to purchase more markers, but although we have got quite a, quite a bit, I just wanted to, okay, um, for some reason, it won't let me, oh. I pressed all complete wrong buttons. All right, we don't, we don't, we got markers. We don't need to, we don't need to buy any. But anyway, yeah, that's where, that's where the peacock bass is over that way. See, normally I'd catch the, yeah, that's where it is. Normally I'd catch the peacock bass behind me, where that boat was. Yeah, it's good that we found another spot for them. <laughs> 10 to 12 I've got to put my uh, short clip out for 10 past 12 as well I'm going to do that in a moment I haven't had any interest on those rods yet they've completely died off well, that, that is because we're not in the peak times that's why Right. Uh, let's move. Move spot again. 
and just move around a little bit just do a few different bits and pieces catch a few different fish I'm definitely going to fish off the dock here and catch some striped bass as well um, do I go for bass now or do we go for the mm, go for the speckled bass like them to bring a new boat in at one point it's kind of like a an old-fashioned sword fishing boat type thing I don't know why I want that but that would be cool it'd have to look old and rusty and look like it's falling apart a little bit <laughs> that'd be nice to see so we that's where I'd normally catch the bass there as well head over this way <clears throat> go down to where we can catch ourselves some speckled look at that we can fit another two people in this boat that would be a good thing when they allow you to sit in other people's boat and you both fish off the same boat that is going to be that is going to be awesome. Oh, someone else is already here. That's alright though. We're not going to be in their way. Uh, then we just want to drop anchor. Again, normally I wouldn't bother to drop anchor, but being here, we're kind of... Let's change time quick. Yeah, being here, we're not catching humongously big fish so it will be all right it'll be fine it's okay to leave that anchor down uh, I'll have one or two casts and then I think it's time to put my kettle on but don't worry we're still gonna stay live but I just need to make some coffee real quick oh, look at that first hit not bad So I haven't got a marker set here neither. I need to start setting markers for people who always ask me for them and then I can't say exactly where they are because I never bother to set any markers. It's hard for me to say, oh, I'll go to this spot. <laughs> if they've never been to that spot, they don't know where the spot is. So yeah, I've got to start saving more markers. That's why I was going to purchase a few markers so that way we can catch a, some fish and then set those markers out. <clears throat> I spend a lot of my own cash buying bait coins. And then I use bait coins for when I'm live streaming so we can jump days forward and jump peak times. And then I also use bait coins for a lot of markers that I set for different lakes and that way I'm able to share it with people. But hopefully when that Paddy's Day event thing drops, when that comes, we'll have a chance to crank up ourselves some more bait coins again, which would be good. I'm definitely going to make the most out of that. I want to catch as many as I can, get as many bait coins as I can. Oh, I missed that strike. Yeah, I need to get as many bait coins as I can so that way I can start stocking up on them again. It gives my wallet in real life a little bit of a break. <clears throat> well, at least that's the plan too, anyway. Let me have a, a real quick look, see if there's any information on that real quick. What's... oh, wrong button. <laughs> Not that. Mm -mm -mm. That was such a slow take. Uh, at least we still we still got it. Mm -hmm. 
it's weird as you know this is weird like the way that I think maybe this the fish was kind of swimming towards me the whole time but like at an angle that was weird I do love the look of the speckled peacock bass look at the size of its mouth <laughs> yeah there's a big old big old fish with a big mouth all right I'm going to real quick go and just quickly put my kettle on and uh, yeah, make some coffee. I will only be a moment. I'll leave you on this screen so that way you're not kind of just you know sitting there in silence, listen to a bit of fish and planet music and chill. <laughs> Give me one moment, all right? I'm gonna quickly make a coffee. I'll be back and forth whilst I'm waiting for the kettle to boil. <laughs> Got the kettle on boil.
<laughs> All right, I am back. Jeez, it is absolutely freezing. <laughs> I don't know why I bother to get up. I should stay still, but hopefully. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Jeez, that was a cough. That was a weird one. All right, yeah. Hopefully I um, get warmed up by that coffee. Give me one, one second. I just got to really quickly just tweak a few things because I've got to make sure that video goes out by 12, 12.10 today, midday. Give me one moment. <clears throat> On that YouTube grind. Come on, hurry up, save the edits. That's some good coffee, that. Switch over to that one. Wrong button, as always. <clears throat> um, I guess I might as well change change the title as well because uh, Dad's not here as well, is he? He's not here now, so. Change the title of the stream. couple of minutes that I put out that video I just gotta keep an eye on the gotta keep an eye on the clock. Yeah. Um, in fact actually let me quickly just um, oh no I do I do it in a bit I do it in a bit otherwise I'm gonna be doing too many things and you guys are gonna be waiting here for me <laughs> just sitting there waiting I'll have one more cast with the buzz bait and then we'll put out a little bit of normal bait. We'll do a bit of bait fishing here. So that way it gives me a chance to post that video one time. That'll take a few seconds before we hook into a fish. <clears throat> We've got a big nice glass of coffee though, so that's going to keep me going for a short second. Any takers? There we go. It's literally like gold, this buzz bait. Little small one there. All right, let's, which, okay, we've got small minnows there. Probably gonna use this rod because it's not as, it's not as stiff as the other rods. So there'd be more bend in the rod. I'm gonna cast to about there. There we go. Then I can keep an eye on that tweet to put out that tweet that video T tweet that video <laughs> there you go we got there in the end take a little bit longer there you go we've got a bit of interest now that 
one completely sat on top of the water. Long nose gar. Can always guarantee a gar's gonna rub your bait, I told you. They're greedy fish. stuff right, I'm just gonna wait a couple of minutes so then that is ready to post oh that is good warms my hands up. I think when, I, when I'm sitting here that's the only thing that's cold is just my hands the rest of my body's fine my hands that are cold That's what it's like when you're winter fishing. You put your hands around your flask. <laughs> Try and keep your hands as warm as you can. <clears throat> now we'll go back to the to the buzz bait in a moment. In fact, actually, it's what we can do. This whilst I'm waiting. Oh, there ain't no peak time there. Early morning. Oh, and it's raining. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Well, you know we're jumping that day. The rain does look good though, doesn't it? It's a shame you don't catch much on a rainy day because I'd definitely like to. Well, I should say. You don't catch much on a rainy day. Depends on what you're fishing for more than anything else. There's a bit of a higher peak the next day. That's sunny and cloudy. That's a bit better. Have I got the shades on or off? Oh, now they're on. There you go. Now they're off. It's four degrees outside where you are. Oof. Yeah, I prefer. It's weird though because I I actually do prefer it to be cold than hot because when you when you're cold you can you can warm up pretty pretty fast. Whereas if when you're hot to try cool down, yeah, it's not it's not as easy, is it? I don't like the heat. Where whereabouts are you from? Where are you from? I think you did say before, but I can't remember. I have too many different people coming in and out of the stream for me to try and remember everything. <laughs> Don't say your actual location, but like I'm from the UK, so where are you from? There we go. That short clip's been put out at the perfect time because we just got a fish on. <clears throat> Another speckled bass. I think it would probably do better on shiners you know because the shiner although it says it prefers the small min minnows as the preferred first bait I am gonna I am gonna put on some shiners in a minute from the Netherlands oh that's nice yeah yeah I bet it is cold there <laughs> I bet <clears throat> Let me just uh, 
real quick. I just want to see if I can just see if I can try to get my hands onto something for my next bit of content. So is this the, is this the only game you play, or do you do you play do you play other games? <clears throat> Steam was coming up onto my glasses a bit there. Alright. I will try. We'll put on some shiners. And then I'll go back to the buzz bait. Just because the the shiner, although it says it prefers small minnows, the shiner is a bigger bait. So bigger bait, bigger fish. It's the main game you play. Yeah, same. I like to play lots of different games and show lots of new games and all that kind of stuff. But <coughs> there ain't no other game that that kind of competes with this one, is there? This one's always. Yeah, it's always going to be my favourite, I think. There could be something that... There could be a better fishing game that comes out, but I highly... I do highly doubt it, but you never know. It's more the mechanics of the game that I like. The way... Yeah, the way things are set out. Uh, it'd be nice to... See... Kind of the fish underwater, but then there's... There is other games that are like that, isn't there? There's plenty of other games where... When you hook up, you can see the fish under the water. Other than that, though, the way the mechanics of the, the way the reel works, the line and and stuff, and the durability damage. Like I remember when I used to play this, and there was you never used to take damage on rods or any of your equipment. And then they added the damage on. Uh, I think they needed to get the balance. I, I think now they have the balance right, but before they definitely did not the amount of damage you used to take on your on your equipment when it first came out that was unbelievable <laughs> yeah i even stopped playing for for a couple of days because it was just the amount of damage you took on your rods was insane well not just your rods but all your gear it was um the durability damage was too high now once they've adjusted it like now 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 it's a lot better now it's good Mm -hmm. There we go, good stuff. Yeah, it looks like uh, the bait is doing. We might have to go back to the to the lure, I think. Yeah. It is indeed. That's exactly why I like this game. Yeah. It's for all ages. It's family friendly. Same as my YouTube's family friendly. You know, it's, yeah, it's perfect. It's family friendly. It's for all different age groups and it's a relaxing game. Like, I do like playing shooting games sometimes, you know. 
it is nice when you you play some shooting games or some racing games and stuff like that or survival games i really like survival games as well like the games like that they are really cool to play but yeah this one's more yeah definitely relaxing it's a relaxing game <clears throat> Bit of movement on the water. I don't know if that's from my rod or his. Definitely one of them though. Oh wow, the amount of notifications I get in one day is un unreal. Right, we're not having much interest with that now, so I'm gonna we're gonna change over and use good old River Tech. Oh, there you go. That person there just said uh, a u a unique speckled. That's nice. for it to sink there we go yeah so it's better using a spinning rod it keeps your hands busy sometimes it can get a little frustrating when you're just sitting there look keep looking at the rod look at that we went from bait to a lure and then bang instantly a fish as I said this buzz bait is gold Yeah. Not a big fish, but it's still a fish. <coughs> yeah, my dad's been using the, the the lures here and there, but he prefers bait fishing. I I do prefer to use bait rods, but I do like to mess around with the spinning rod whilst I got a bait rod out like a debate. I missed it there. If the bait rods ain't doing much, then it's nice to have a spinning rod in your hand to, to mess around with for a little while. <clears throat> Weren't really in that properly. I kept having the two dots rather than three. Controller is definitely more noisy. Oh, I kept my finger unreal. I should have kept doing the stop and go. As soon as I stopped doing that, a fish come up for it. Big speckled, unique bass. <clears throat> there you go. Again, a bit of a, <coughs> a bit of a weird strike, but we hooked it. That fish was easier to reel in, but it was bigger than the last one. Strange how it, how it is sometimes. Sometimes those little fish give you more of a fight because they're, they're a little bit more agile. They ain't got that big belly so they can kind of dart left and right. But then it's hard to tell. It is. Sometimes you can reel a big fish in real, real easy, but then sometimes, sometimes not so much. They use their weight against you, so... 
Yeah, it's hard to tell. Did a little bit of stop and go. I'm going to do a couple just straight reeling. We'll see if we get any interest like that. There you go. And just keeping our finger on reel. See if we get any interest that way. it'd run across the top <clears throat> well give the popper a go from here as well because I know using the popper here is quite popular worked quite well. well at least the last time I used it it did I'm gonna try that now in fact I think it was that one. Well, it could have been actually the major popper. I think it was that one. I know the walk is good. The walk is good as well as the frog, but let's try this popper. I'm only going to do a real speed one. Oh wow, well there you go. No, oh, yep, there it is. I was like, nope, yes, nope, yes. <laughs> I don't think the game could make up its mind on that one. Both in, yeah. Nice looking fish though. I don't know what's more of the greedy fish, the bowfin or the or the gar. I'd probably say bow bowfish maybe. Bowfin, yeah, maybe. It's a it's a close one though between that and the gar. They're both quite greedy fish. I missed that one. So that's what I'm doing as I'm doing this. I'm looking. You see that gar there? Oh, it's twice now. You don't get away with it the third time. <laughs> that ain't a bowfin though. <coughs> uh, a gar. That is a speckled, that one. Yeah. They do like the popper though. I did say they did. Got to get the timing right of the strike. So it's probably better leaving it like this. Zoomed in. Because then we can see the fish run up on, on the popper. And we can hit the strike at the right time. Just like that. Just like that. That was actually that was actually pretty cool there. That was nice. Quite satisfying. And this is a bigger fish. This could be the unique one. It definitely is the unique speckled. For sure, for sure. There it is. I called it. Really nice looking fish. Look at that. That is nice. 18 pound. Well, near enough. But at least now we can set that as another marker for people, people who ask us. Well, the Unique speckled basses. There is another one. Oh, okay, yeah, there. <coughs> Hit 
Peacock. That was, I think that one was the, uh, that was the mission actually, were not it, that one? Yeah, it was. That one was to do the mission. Right, I think we're, we'll have a couple of more of these, and then we'll go for some striped bass. See if we can get a get a unique striped bass. It's kind of nice, like doing it like this, because normally I would just get in a lake and just target one fish. But today I thought we'll mix it up a little bit and catch a little bit of everything. I think that's nice though. Rather than always going for the same. It is nice to mix it up a little bit every now and again. I missed it. And that was a speckled bass that time. See, I'm trying to look at the popping. I'm, I'm getting the popping mixed up. I keep getting the one dot. It's because I'm looking at the water. I'm trying to look at the water for my well, the time to strike. And I keep looking up on the top right to get that popping motion more. I oh, got that in so close. Again, greedy gar. <laughs> I, I was about to speed reel then as well. I think I even did hit the speed reel to just reel it in because we was in so close. <coughs> concentrate on the popping so much because we're still gonna have at least one dot where it says popping I'm just paying more attention to to the popper in the water so it can strike at the right time more than worrying about those little dots Missed it. Don't believe you. Once again, Bruno, uh, English only, please, man. Hopefully, you understand English, me saying that. Only because they can't verify what you're saying. I don't have time to translate. I think, I think, I don't know if that was the popper just making a noise there or whether something was trying to follow that. Zoom back in again. There we go. So we'll have one more cast after this one. And then we'll go catch ourselves some, some of them striped bass. Maybe the odd uh, other fish here and there with us. What I'm going to target, strike bass. We're kind of out of that peak time now, anyway. <coughs> <coughs> I was going to. Uh, yeah, we might as well. Look at that. Oh, we got a nice peak. 5 a.m. That's nice. This is the only problem sometimes when I ever streaming when people end up commenting there and then I feel like I have to comment back because it's like it's like I'm being rude. If I ever don't reply to a message um, in a random room, just note that it's not me being rude. It is, yeah, I'm either live streaming or I'm trying to make content or something like that. So, yeah, if you ever do comment there and I never respond, don't take it personally. Oh, there you go. That was that was a good hit. That once that was. 
That was a good hit. Long nose got. Alright, well, as we're still catching, we want to have another cast. I did move the time forward. Is all I'm gonna do is end up jumping to the to the next the next day anyway. Oh. Well that's uh that's good news. My uncle's just got me a, a fishing rod. Like in, in real life. I don't know why. Uh let me I'm gonna quickly ring him. Oh he's got me a fishing rod. Wow. That's awesome. There we go. Um, <coughs> all right, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, mute my mic for one moment just whilst I quickly ring my uncle. He got me a fishing rod. No, oh, he didn't answer. I'll give him a ring in a bit. There you go, look at that. Fish for days. Uh, I I don't think, I, I think I have got all species here, but then it's, hard, it's kind of hard to tell whether I've caught all fish species because sometimes the game, how's it going, dots? Sometimes the game bugs out, look. Um, I don't go to. There you go. 30 out of 62. Like I've caught that before because I've made that as a video. And that video I actually have in our playlist of just Fish and Planet. Caught that. So, yeah, I it's caught bonefish before. I've done plenty of live streams as well, catching bonefish and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, just sometimes it don't tick it off. It, like, it, it bugs out. I don't know why. Golden Shino, again, I've caught before. Uh, I've caught Unique of that before, caught Unique of the uh, Long Nose Gar before, and the Oscar. So yeah, sometimes the game, I don't know why it just bugs out. Like look at that, some flounder, it shows that I've never caught one, although I've caught Unique flounder before. I think, even if we look in here, look, it should show you. Um, it should definitely show here that I've caught a Unique flounder. Yeah, the game the game is a bit weird sometimes. It bugs out. I don't know why it does that, but uh, look at that. That looks nice. Fire musky. I remember catching that. That weren't that long ago. Look at that mirror carp ghost. That looks nice. Some really nice species, especially some of these ones like that as well. That's nice. I quite like those historic ones. They always look really good. There you go, rowdy bass. That's what we should be catching on the new update soon, hopefully. And the uh, leprechaun fish as well. Yeah, look, see, speckled shows that I caught my biggest is 23 pound. A minute ago, we caught an 18 pound. And yet, yeah, look at that, that was on a popper. I said to you I might have caught it on a popper, and I did. Look, there you go, popper. Seven knot hook. Um. It was on the blue popper as well, there you go. That's going to be part of the Paddy's Day, normally is. There you go, look. Unique Southern Flounder. £16, okay. The game's bugged, it is so bugged. So, <laughs> yeah, so I've caught Unique Flounder, and then there, it's showing that I've never caught it. Yeah, the game's buggy. I know I've caught it, as I said, I've caught it before on live streams, I've caught it before on made videos on it and stuff uh, yeah my dad recently though recently my dad uh we did a little short clip video of it where dad caught every fish species for conga conga river and he done that to see if we should zoom in there because i missed that hit missed it again beautiful yeah uh in congo river we did a little short clip and he caught every fish just to see if like it would give you some bait coins or you know just see if it gives you something but unfortunately it didn't 
Now, if it did, you know what bubbles would have been doing. That's why my dad said he'd test it. Because I, I said we sp both spoke about it. And uh, he said, oh, we, we should try it. And I said, man, uh, I'm so busy editing videos and stuff, trying to make videos as much as I can at the minute. And he was like, oh, no worries. I'll, I'll, I'll catch them all and I'll let you know. And he caught them all. Every fish, one of every fish species, normal size, trophy, and unique. But yeah, unfortunately, it didn't. It didn't give anything at all. So that was a little bit, yeah, a little bit unfortunate. We actually had a fish on there, but that was such a small fish that it ended up coming off. I guess you're on your break dots. One more cast, and then we're definitely gonna go and target some striped bass. I said, uh, you you on your break? You on your lunch break? I got a bag of peanuts actually. I might, I might eat some of those soon. That sounds like a good idea. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> so you got that in, the, in your pocket. Nice. Oh, I missed it. I think that one was a speckled bass. Cool, you're running a bit, a bit behind today. Normally you have your... You break about half twelve, didn't you? Oh, that we caught that at the last second. Good old greedy bowfish. Bowfin. I always say bowfish. It is bowfish as well. It's a bowfish, but it's called a bowfin. <laughs> oh, I was doing stop and go there. That ain't going to work with a popper. Hey, uh, Paula messaged me dots, and she just said to me, um, Bob's got a fishing rod for you. Well, she said, Bob's got your new fishing rod. Uh, yeah. I did just ring him, but he didn't answer. I'll give him a ring again in a minute. Try. And then he picked me up a fishing rod. That's nice. I'm quite interested to find out what size, what size rod it is. There we go. That was perfect strike. Yeah, it's a shame that when you catch um, all fish species, it's a shame it doesn't give you some kind of reward. That is a bit of a shame. Oh, look. Oh, okay. Uh, it weren't the fish I was thinking. I was going to say we caught something different. Right, definitely last cast here. Definitely, definitely. And then we go for some striped bass. <clears throat> I'm going to try and ring my uncle again real quick, see if he answers. Good fish.
Oh, nice. Yeah, sorry, man. I was on the phone. <coughs> nice. He's got me a... Because um, I was getting some 12-foot rods, weren't I, to fish off the beach. And I have got some. But I wanted to get one more. And he just said to me that he had a... He said, I've got a brand new one that's in the back of my cupboard and I ain't never going to fish off the beach anymore. He said, oh, I'm getting too old to fish off the beach. So he said... Um, come round whenever you want and come get it he said it's a brand new rod so that, that's nice I do plan to definitely put some um, real life fishing on on this YouTube channel I do plan to do that and I hopefully can do that this year with a with a bit of luck well I say a bit of luck it's going to be no matter what I'm definitely going to be doing some real life fishing at some point this year I'll do a couple of like videos but I probably am going to do a live stream on it as well. It'd be quite nice for you guys as well as myself. A little bit of relaxation. <coughs> yeah, perfect. Can't be bad. That's exactly what my old man would say. <laughs> and that's exactly what you said. Yeah. Alright. Any striped bass out there? See if we can interest any... I know we can catch striped bass over to our right, actually, um, at night time. I might actually even move to there in a moment. I'll try it over that side. I've got a marker there already for a striped bass. Look, I don't think I have a marker over the other side. I might have. I don't know. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, there you go. It could be tarpon though, because it is on the large minnow. Could also be permit. Yeah, that's a permit. <clears throat> yeah, we're definitely going to move over the other side. I'm hoping that, uh, I don't know, I was talking to my uncle saying about whether big man's going to be going to grab that town to uh, meet, I go to see my uncle for a bit whilst big man goes into town and quickly grab our new game for our live stream tomorrow, but I think he's going to purchase it off the PlayStation, I think, speed up the process a little bit. Try and get it downloaded early in the morning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Although when he goes to town though, he's quite he's quite fast. Cool, this is a good fish. <coughs> oh, it's tarpon. That's why it's a good fish. Yeah, I think he's gonna purchase it and then we're gonna do a live stream on it tomorrow. But as I said, I can't say what game it is, but it is a new game, but I can't say what because uh i don't want to spoil it <coughs> really nice of him yeah he already gave me um he already gave me a couple of rods as it was but he's a proper yeah my uncle he, he absolutely he's a proper fisherman he loves fishing all he just <coughs> that's all he ever does <coughs> in real life that's all he ever does is fish he loves it yeah, he's got lots of fishing stuff uh, it's nice that you can help me out like that. I'll definitely take it. He said it's a three-piece rod as well. Uh, whereas if all my 12-foot big rods, they're all two pieces. Uh, it being a three-piece rod is better. Because it means that I'll be able to put it onto my bike easier. So there ain't, it ain't as long for when I'm riding. I, as I said, I do definitely 100% plan to this year. Do a live stream as well as that. Put some videos of me fishing, real life fishing. I definitely want to do that. That's not bad. 85 pound tarpon. Uh, personally myself, I do really like catching, like I, I, I do sea fishing. Although I say I do sea fishing, my dad, he's got a lot of carp gear. And I was talking to my dad as well, saying um, this year that I want to do fishing. And he said about me and him going up the lake. So we could end up, having a bit of lake fishing as well as 
see fishing on the channel at some point. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I personally myself, I I probably prefer sea fishing, and that's only because that's something I've always done. You know, I have done lake fishing, but I've definitely done a lot, lot more sea fishing. Uh, I do like to catch bass around this time of the year. It's more flatfish, you know, flounder and stuff around this sort of time. Uh, I, I definitely know they are about because my uncle said that there's tons of flatfish around at the minute. So Personally myself though, yeah, bass. I do like catching bass just because they, they do give a good fight. Although so does squid actually, catching squid. Catching squid's nice because then you've got more bait for the next time and they give a good fight. <coughs> but uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing some of that this year. Maybe we'll have a bit of lake fishing on and we might have a bit of sea fishing. No matter what, we're definitely going to be having some of it on at some point. It's just a matter of getting the right timing, you know. Kids being at school or it being on a weekend where... I'm able to maybe get a decent night's sleep the night before and then uh, fish all night. I do love night fishing in real in real life. I love night fishing. It's re it is really relaxing. I love it. There's a red drum. Oh no, it's a unique snook. That was a sneaky one. It came out of nowhere. That was on the lure rod, so that was nice. Mm, we still ain't seen any striped bass. I think this is another permit. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna dump that in there. Sorry, I could have showed you that a little bit longer, couldn't I? We didn't have another fish on, so we're gonna jump up there. Um, so I got a marker there, marker out there. That marker there. Hopefully you can see that just near that bit of wood sticking out the water there. That marker there. And that's for unique bass, but over here. I don't know if I've got a marker over here for the unique bass, but you can catch it over here. Yeah, I ain't. Alright, well, we're fish here then, so that way we can set another marker here for when people ask for it. Now, again, daytime you can catch it, but I think I might run through the night. I don't think I've ever actually caught it. I've always night fished at this spot. Let's try... Let's try late evening. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we get any interest. I think I might put on the uh, the buzz bait around here again. See, I don't think I've ever casted it around this little area, so it might be worth a shot. There we go. I think probably like I've got six up hooks on there. I think probably it would, maybe a 4 watch should have, I should have put on, a 4 might have been better. Let me change this one to a 4 as well. <clears throat> bit of movement there already. Lost interest. Alright, let's go back to the lure rod. I don't know how well this is going to work for buzz bait here. As I said, I've never, never ever used it over here. It's always been bait. And I've always fished at night here. Always when that sun's already set. Oh, we'll have a few casts with it. Let's see what happens. Yep. If I didn't have that lure rod in my hand, there's no way that fish would have went off. <laughs> that rod would have went off, should I say, that fish. There's no way we would have hooked into a fish. There's a snook, both in. Oh, a girl. 
That was completely misjudged, wasn't it? I think there's a little bit of interest there as I as I pick this rod up. I heard that little vol uh, vibration in the controller. There you go. That looks like a permit again. Yep, permit. Fighting well though. Yeah, this could be this could be a decent sized fish. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Max graphics on PC. That looks good. I'm so glad they added the update they for the uh, Fish and Planet graphics update. That was one thing they really needed. And I'm so glad they did that. We got some interest over there. Although I'm pretty sure this is a unique permit. I'm gonna oh, okay, I was gonna say I'm gonna pick up that other rod, but hold on. We might have enough time. Oh, it weren't quite unique. <coughs> Alright, dots, no worries, man. All good. Long nose gar. So at this point, because we're the sun hasn't set yet. I'm thinking I'm not going to get bass just yet until that sun goes down. I don't know. As I said, I know I can definitely catch them bass here at night, but I've never tried it in the daytime. Or at least I don't think so anyway. I probably have. Good old stop and go. I think I, I think I had, I don't know if that was a bit of interest or a little bit of a snag. Uh, that was interesting. My strike was terrible. <laughs> we messed that one up. Guessing both in. Looks like a gar, maybe. Yep, another gar. That is on the six up though. That's why. Uh, let me change that hook. I'm gonna put a five on there. Well then. Um, we could use a bit of craw, crawfish, that's something different to use, um, or, what else, small minnows, um, I don't know, yeah I might try a bit of that crawfish. Crawfish cut or crawfish? Um, let's try crawfish. bag of peanuts in a second 
So I'm going to just close my face cam just whilst I eat, but we're still going to carry on fishing, don't worry. Bit of interest over there. Just there. And on that rod. <coughs> that was on the crawfish, that was a quick take then. Getting fish on the smaller hook rather than the bigger hook. This one, we've got six up on that. Let's change that. I've got crawfish on there, and then put on a bit of a smaller hook there. Yes, that do. Okay, change the bait. I thought it would. Uh, my stream, for me on my screen, is buffering. I don't know if it is for you guys. Hopefully, it's not. Five. <coughs> Good old shiners, gotta use shrimps as well. And we'll go back to that lure rod maybe in a minute. But I'm gonna have a real oh, I did it wrong. I got my mouse cursor over on, on this screen, I gotta move it over to like that. There you go. Now I've got my mouse cursor over on the other screen. All right, yeah, real quick, I'm just gonna remove the cam. Just, just whilst I quickly eat a little snack because it's lunchtime where I am right now. So I don't know about you guys, but it is for me. <clears throat>
How's it going, man? Are you subscribe to me? Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So I closed my face cam for a minute. I was, in, I'm in the middle of eating a little snack real quick. It's lunchtime where I'm at. Got a bit of interest on that bait rod there. Oh, maybe it lost interest. See the water swirling. There we go. Thing. I think really I'm better off going to the night. It's a little bit slow, as I said. I always caught striped bass here at the night time. Obviously, me fishing this time. Ain't no bass around. Peak time at 11. Normally, I just bait fish here at night. I don't normally mess around with the with the lure, but we're gonna have a few casts with a buzz bait. I think I do have a night time, a night, a night one. If not, I might have a jig or something. We'll see. I'll have a few casts with a buzz bait. See if we get any hits on it. I think I might have an attachment for a night soft bait to put on there. Maybe it don't, but it does. I have no idea what that is. I 
Mm. It's Snook. See a bit of movement on the water there. I think it lost interest. Face cam is bugged out. Lovely. <laughs> Replug it back in. Okay, has that fixed it? Yeah. Perfect. I actually missed a fish there because I was looking at the uh, software instead. <laughs> it happens. Long nose got. Well, them striped bass are hiding out today, aren't they? They're hiding good. They don't. They don't want none. They're not hungry. Come on, get that third, third dot. There you go. There it is. See if I got a night one. I'm pretty sure I have. We'll see. If not, I definitely got a lure for the night anyway. Um, got a nighttime shed. Put that on. Let's try that. Glow crawl. As I said, normally I, f I, I just bait fish from this spot. I don't normally mess around with a lure rod. I normally just, yeah, bait rods out. But we're going to try a little bit with this, see what happens. Oh, I missed that. I think well, I say I missed it. I think I strike too fast. <coughs> the water definitely isn't deep here. Well, actually, it probably is. It's more because it's so light that buzz bait. It brings it to the surface so fast. Try again. Oh, it was that rod that got into a snake. That was really weird, wasn't it? That rod started to go off, and then it. Oh, okay. I got something on there. Yeah, that was really weird. It started to take, and then it just stopped. <clears throat> Let's 
stop and go seems to be the one that works well. That was a really bad strike for me, but <laughs> at least we hooked it. That was a really late reaction. Both in. We're not having much luck with those striped bass, are we? I would have thought them rods would have been going off like bonkers by now. Missed that one. And I missed it again. Oh my gosh. Come on. Do it again. You don't get away the third time. Maybe you do. <laughs> Lovely. There it is. <coughs> Catfish. Oh, that's not bad. Unique, though. That one was pretty close in. Right, one more cast steer. If one of those bait rods ain't gone off, we're going to move location. I'll probably change day as well. And it shouldn't be that slow to catch a fish. Try to keep it centre middle, like that. Yeah, blue crab was yeah was badly nerfed for sure, man. I'm trying to, I, I did fish a little bit over the other side, then I thought I'd come over here for the night, do a bit of night fishing over this way, see if we can get some striped bass. But I haven't had one hit of striped bass. That's all. Completely, completely gone. Come and snook. Even if we only had a small one, I thought we would have at least had uh, one bass. But yeah, has been, has been nerfed quite bad, isn't it? But then that's because obviously there's higher level lakes now, so. As a new lake comes out, the old ones get nerfed, don't they? That's the way they do it. Well, maybe we might have something. I'm going to wait until I see the line move though. We did that a minute ago. Yeah, there you go. Oh, well, it's definitely a small one. Another catfish. Right, that pace for me, it's not fast enough. So we're gonna move down here, try off the dock again. And then we're gonna fast forward time as well. There we go, that's Bubbles lazy way of doing it. Save you picking up all the rods. <laughs> yeah, gotta be done. I'm going to try some small minnows as well. Um, uh, small minnows, shiners, 
crawfish shiners. I'll do one with a large minnow. There you go. The peak times for the day are just so hard to get. I want a sunny day if I can as well. The next day sunny cloudy as well. This is where we spend our real money, buying tons of bait coins. Wow, so many, where's all the sunny days at? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. What's gonna make me jump forward loads, isn't it? There you go, good high peak, be sunny. Yeah, there you go, that's what we want. Perfect. I do remember casting out a little bit further than that. Maybe uh, those markers there are for tarpon. I'm sure it's about 170 ish, between 150 and 170 out there. Yeah, 170. No fish day, yeah. Unique tarpon. Forty three foot. Made it so sensitive it's hard to hard to do it. There we go. Perfect. And then we're gonna mess around with the uh, spinning rod. I want to try something different other than that. Like the uh, um, that's normally a really good one. Medium spoon. This is always a good one. You can get some proper far range cast with that as well, because it's a good weight. Yeah, look at that. 223, that's perfect. Real speed 1. Let's try real speed 2. As long as I don't bring it up too much. Yeah, that's about right. Real speed 2. I'm going to keep reeling this one for a minute. I know between like 130 to around about 80 foot, that's normally the biting point that went from not being any size fish to having a bit of weight what's that is that a drum or a snook there's a snook in it yeah Thanks everyone who smacked that like button as well. I appreciate it. Let's us know you're still enjoying Fishing Planet. I gotta, I gotta quickly make a call because I'm planning, if I can, to do two live streams today, like I did yesterday. That is the plan. Got a plan to go live with someone, so I just gotta quickly ring that person. Give me one moment. Just gonna have to put my mic on mute for a sec. Oh.
uh, not to worry. He's uh, he's out at the minute, so that's all right. It means more fish in planet. <laughs> that's a good thing. Oh, there you go. That's a better size fish. I can't believe then we actually finally got a striped bass. The striped bass are still out there. It took us a short minute to get it. I don't think we got another one. Oh no, there's a tarpon. Yeah, them striped bass are hiding good today. Getting a bit more interest on the bait rods now as well. Okay, well that looks like a little fish on there, so let's have a look see if we got a bigger fish on this one if we have we take this one. Oh yeah, there you go, this one's a bit better. This is a stronger rod as well. How's it going, Timothy? It's been a short minute, man. Hope you're doing well. Is it a striped bass? No, nope, it's a snook. Oh, sorry, I couldn't show it long. We've got this next one on. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad, man. Thanks. On that YouTube grind. There you go, bonefish. Haven't seen one of those for a little while. Finally, you've got a unique gar. I think the unique gars are they're not they're not too hard to they're not too hard to catch gar because they are quite greedy, aren't they? Whereabouts did you catch it? Did you catch it over that way? Over there, over the other side. I'm glad we finally got got one of those striped bass. I wasn't sure if they went ex extinct. Um, all right, so we tried just reeling. We didn't have much interest on that, so now I'm gonna try a little bit of twitching with this one. I don't know if real speed two is gonna be too much. We'll try it. If it is, I'll drop it down a little. Well, I think that might be about right. Ah, oh, from the other spot. Okay. Yeah, those gars are greedy fish. You catch them quite easily. Drop it down to real speed one. Just because it brought it up near the surface when I got to about 80 foot. If I do it as real speed one, it might stay near the bottom more. Or even completely stay on the bottom. Oh, we snagged. That was probably good timing. Not a big fish. I'm guessing it's going to be a snook again. Oh, well, it's not. There we go. That's what we like to see. Kind of a weird, funny angle, but there it is. <laughs> Striped bass. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, that's a better fish. I'm guessing that's going to be tarpon. It's not. It's another snook. They, they, they are a bit like the girl. <laughs> yeah, they're greedy. You can always rely on a snook to take your bait for sure yeah 
Yeah, yeah, I've been doing a lot of Fortnite, yeah. I'm just trying to grow as a content creator, man, that's all. A lot of people thought that um, I weren't doing Fishing Planet anymore, to be honest. <laughs> a lot of people said, how come you're not playing Fishing Planet? I've been waiting. Yeah, I'm just trying to grow as a content creator, that's all, you know. Just trying to put out different stuff. That's all. Let's do a bit of stop and go with this one. We'll do it on real speed, too. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of uh, Fortnite, yeah. A lot of people seem to like that, and I've been quite enjoying playing it, actually. It ain't been too bad. Especially now I don't have to build. I can play it kind of kind of like Call, Call of Duty style type, you know. And you can play no build, so. Don't worry, Fishing Planet's always going to be my number one game. I like games that are relaxing, and I love fishing as well, so. This is always going to be my main one, but just... Yeah, trying to put different content out there. And tomorrow we'll we'll be going live tomorrow at some point. Uh hopefully. With a bit of luck. We managed to get that new game tomorrow. So again, I'm just trying to put different stuff out there. Although some people would love to see me play Fishing Planet all the time. Sometimes I think it's it kind of will bore people, you know me doing the same thing so I try and put different stuff there but no matter what game I'm playing it doesn't matter what game I'm playing or whatever game I'm streaming a lot of a second an update comes out on this game there's gonna be a video straight away Anytime there's an update on Fishing Planet, any other game I'm playing gets dropped. <laughs> it gets dropped hard like a stone and I just bang, yeah, fishing. Well, I'm quite surprised with this, with this spoon because normally I get quite a bit of interest with this one. I am quite surprised I haven't haven't hooked into some already. Some bass with this. <clears throat> we'll have to time out here for the striped bass, I tell you. It's good that we've sent a couple, but I haven't even sent a trophy. Coming towards the uh, peak time for it though, oh, 10 to 6. <clears throat> I might head down to the uh, to the top and hot spot. That's the only place that we haven't really fished where normally everybody likes to go I didn't want to go there straight away that's why we fished a few different spots I think I might head down there though in a minute I'm really surprised with this lure though that spoon is normally really good here Not a massive fish. I'm guessing this is going to be a snook. Bonefish. You know what? I'll cast that back out for a minute. And I'm going to put on the buzz bait here. I have a couple of casts with the buzz bait. And that works all the time. Let's see if it works from this spot. we end up getting snook <laughs> I bet we get snook
maybe nothing. Yeah, snook or permit, I'm guessing. If we hook into anything with this. We might get might might get lucky with a bass, but I'll see if anything at all. of interest there oh and a bit of interest there as well I'm gonna have to reel this one in although I could put it down but I want to see what we've got oh a bonefish one fish I didn't mention was the one fish that we catch there we go there's a bit of a better size oh, unfortunately a permit Bass at. One thing I haven't tried here actually. Although it used to work as a as a popper, we'll give that a go. The blue popper that normally works quite well here in blue crab. blue popper on try the five quite oh, it's definitely been a long time since I've used this one major popper try and zoom in try and keep our eye on the on the popper so that way we can get the strike right the old turtle oh no I forgot the three second rule I created that myself whenever it whenever it takes it you wait three seconds before you hit that strike button that was a good size top in there as well I just saw it and I was like, bang, strike. No, wrong. <laughs> as soon as you see that, you got to wait. Wait a couple of seconds. There you go. I waited that time. I wouldn't say three seconds. I probably waited about one, one second. <laughs> Is this a bass though? Probably not. Nope. There's another snook. Although that was only 17 pounds, that one did have a good little fight to it. I know I'm not getting the popping more than one up there, but that's fine. That's not the important part. It's hitting that strike button at the right time. On the popping, I can only ever get two bars on there anyway. I don't know why. I obviously don't do it completely correct, or maybe you can't get three on there. I don't know. 
I never seem to get three dots, and if I do, it's not for very long. Can't cancel that now. Another permit. How many shiners I've got? 1,131. <laughs> it's the golden bait for every lake shiner. It works everywhere. That's what I always take with me. Anytime a new lake drops, if a new lake comes out, I always take shiners. I always take large minnows. One of the most two baits that I always use. <clears throat> Looks good like this as well. Not only you get to hit that strike button at the right time to get that fish, but at the same time, it looks good when you see it jump up out the water for your lure. Mainly the tarpon that do that. Well, I say that quite a lot of fish do it. And nothing there. And we'll have one more cast here from this spot, and then we'll move down to the the main hot spot. fish that hot spot in a short minute as well so we'll see how bad it's been nerfed yeah, let's jump on the boat then we'll head down there premium yeah <coughs> mainly myself the reason why I always buy premium is just because um, you know for me doing YouTube I've got to try and put those videos out there on fishing planet as fast as I can because if I don't someone else will it's kind of like that for every youtuber you know you got to be the first to put that video there because then your video will be watched first so for me, I always got to have premium, so that way I've got tons of cash. And then that way, if I've always got a lot of money, that means I'm always able to make that new video, you know. Whether it's showing a new hot spot or whatever I'm doing. That's why I spend a lot of money on bait coins as well when I'm, when I'm live streaming like this. You're off. All right, no worries, Hank. Good to see you, man. Thanks for dropping by. Um, yeah, I've always got to try and put that video out there as fast as I can. Showing new maps and stuff, and that costs money, so. There you go. Hopefully, I'm not in that guy's way. Yeah, no, I'm not. That's good. I don't like to be a pain because I don't like it when people all pile on top of me sometimes. That can be a little bit, a little bit frustrating. Yeah, see, for me, because I, I play on all different accounts, it's, um, I, yeah, I don't really concentrate on rank. The only, the only thing I'm ever bothered about, as long as I'm playing on PC right now, but as long as my PC account has a lot of cash on, that's the main thing I care about. I didn't lift my rod stand up, pointing up, but that's all right. Mm, let's 
put on and off, you know, mix up, put a few different baits on. I didn't change the time forward either, so that wasn't, that wasn't clever. Crab as well, why not? Have a few permit. Use the six up hook. There we go. Oh, we got a bite already, that's good. RQ minnow. As I said, you can always rely on a snook. <laughs> I think I'm going to. Do I use the fight? Yeah, we use the fire bot. While well, we've got those bait rods out, we'll have a. Well, I was going to say we'll have a little go with that, but we will in a moment. The tarpon here. Yeah. 33 pound, that looked quite big. Sorry I couldn't shirt that long. Three pound. That's not bad. Again, couldn't show it that long. Well, don't look too bad. Catching at a decent pace. Another permit on the small minnows. Have you? Yeah, a lot of people like that game. Big man brought it, but he never really, I don't know if he didn't really get into it or much, or I don't know, like he's got so many different games to play, so he probably got distracted by another new game that come out, but yeah, big man brought it, We I think we did a, one or two streams on it, and I think that was about it after that, and I don't think he's played it since then as far as I know. But yeah, quite a popular game that. Don't really think I'm gonna get much chance to use this, am I by the looks of it? I'm not complaining though, as long as we're catching fish. Another permit. Let's see if we see something come up and try and grab this popper. Oh, big tarpon. Oh my gosh. I panicked. 
I didn't stop reeling. I was meant to stop reeling. Uh, that's unfortunate. Don't worry. We'll get it again. We'll get it. We'll get it. Oh, well, Doug, it's been a short minute, man. Really good to see you. Hope you're well. Hunting a red fox and you end up finding a rare moose. Nice, man. Yeah, not too bad, Ben. How are you doing? You everything good? Cool, that looks like a good size tarpon that. Yeah, seventy one pound that that reeled in. Pretty easy that one. Bonefish, I could have showed you that a bit longer. Natural instinct, I just bang straight in the net, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I do that, I just yeah. Straight in the net. Just getting over a cold. Yeah, a lot of um, a lot of people been having a cold recently. I did last week. I, I I'm kind of getting over that myself. Still got a bit of a cough here and there. It's been a little bit difficult trying to trying to make videos and stuff because I keep coughing quite a lot but I've been I've been quite busy this month I really really have been on that YouTube grind I've been putting out videos at least two videos every day throughout February uh, whether they're videos or short clips I've done a minimum of two and I've been putting in a lot more live streams as well so yeah I've really really been trying to work hard There we go, that was a good hit. But enjoying some of the Fortnite clips, that's good man. That's good to hear. Yeah, I'm trying to... Let's move away from that a little bit because it's a bit loud. Yeah, I'm trying to, you know, grow grow the audience and try and, try and grow on, on YouTube. So... As much as Fishing Planet's always going to be my main game, no matter what, this is always going to be my favourite. <laughs> Nothing can change that, no matter what game I'm playing. If there's an update, whatever game I'm playing is abandoned, and that's it, Fishing Planet comes first. It always will. But, yeah, for me to try and grow as a content creator, you know, I'm trying to just make, yeah, different videos and stuff. I'm, hopefully, I've got a new game coming tomorrow for a live stream with a bit of luck. I'm not going to say what it is, I don't want to spoil it, but hopefully i manage to get that tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reel this fish in. I've got a 46 pound rod set up, and this could be a 150 pound fish. I'm going to give it a, a, a real good try though. I, mean, I don't care about those other rods, I'm sticking with this one for now. <clears throat> The main is at 78, and my second is at 56. Your Fishing Planet YouTube shorts is doing better than Fortnite. They sure are, man. <coughs> yeah. They sure are. People love those. I don't know why they love they love those uh, tip of the rod videos, don't they? They sure do. But still, you know, uh but I feel like sometimes I would love to play just Fishing Planet and nothing else. But as I've said before, some people probably would prefer me to only ever show Fishing Planet and nothing else. But I kind of don't. I want to do that, but I don't want to do that because if I do that, I feel like I might bore. You know, get people might get bored of watching me do the same thing all the time. So that's why I mix it up. Or as I said, some people probably would like to just see that and nothing else, but. I try to mix it up. I'll tell you what, one of those uh, Fortnite videos that we did recently, um, no, it wasn't Fortnite, sorry, um, GTA. I did a little bit of GTA. I haven't played GTA for a long time, and I, I let Mrs. Bubbles play GTA. She likes playing GTA sometimes. 
She used to play it a lot, but she stopped playing it for a long time. But we played it the other day. And, um... Yeah, again, it's going to be a video. I'm not going to spoil it. But, yeah, we were playing a bit of GTA with Mrs. Bubbles. And it was it was really funny. Really good ending. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Have great content. Love your laugh. Thank you, Doug. Be right back. All right, man. I don't know if I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this fish in. It is ripping line. I think, I think the thing that will make me lose it is when it's going to try swimming towards me. I'll probably end up losing it to slack line. Could you imagine this in real life though? You're using a 46 pound rod setup and you've got a 150 pound fish on the end of the line. It's going to be quite something, isn't it? That'd be nice. That'd keep you there for a couple of hours for sure. going to say we're getting it back a little bit but then it's just turned its head now it's swimming towards me this is where we get loads of line back GTA isn't really family friendly game. It's not. Well, I guess it depends on what you're doing, though. You know, sometimes I will play games that ain't family friendly. I will mention that in the beginning, saying it isn't. I'll always be respectful. You won't ever hear any bad language from me, but yeah. Obviously, some games I do play are 18. If I ever do play a game that is 18, I will let you guys know. Like, I, I played The Forest. That was a great game, that. And that was um, that was an 18. That wasn't family friendly, but I still played it. It was good. I liked it. That is a big top, and that for sure. That's definitely unique. Definitely, yep, definitely. That's not bad. 137 pound, and that is on a 46 pound rod setup. That's what makes it fun. I didn't think I was actually going to be able to reel that in, if I'm honest. I really didn't think we was going to get that one. I want to play... Um, I'm a little bit low on cash at the minute, but when, I, when I've got the money, I'm going to buy uh, Sons of the Forest, which is the, the second one. The second one of the forest. So, yeah, that's going to be called Sons of the Forest. That definitely is not family-friendly, but I'm still going to be playing it. I won't ever use any bad language, but sometimes some games that I play are rating. That's just the way it is. I like to show some different stuff. Although Fishing Planet's the main game, it's nice to mix it up and show show something different. At least that's just the way of my my way of thinking. snagged up <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that really I should have changed the next day I didn't change anyway did I I went from the other spot straight to this one <coughs> got a message give me one second
Right, yeah. Let's change to the next day then. <clears throat> Car real low water. It's gonna be raining in it. Yeah, I thought so. Thirty one thousand. Another rainy day for the next one as well. Let me just check on my gear, make sure it's good. Yeah, it's all right. Another rainy day. Wow. Yes, I have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've tried many different rods for the sharks, yeah. Yeah, that's why I like to use that uh, Rivertex rod setup that I've got because it's such a light setup. I've got it set up for max drag, but I really do like this setup because it's a 46 pound. It's good for catching some small fish, but it's also really good for catching tarpon at 150 pound. It is, it can be a struggle. And I have lost a, a few on it here and there, if I'm honest, but it is still, yeah, it's good fun to use it. It really is. That's why I like getting in the boat sometimes and just trolling up and down on the water. Because when that fish hits, it's nice because your boat's pulling away from it at all, all the time, non-stop. It's good when you get a really big fish on. Rods are gonna go off. Yep. Bonefish. Not a bad size, ten pound. It's not a bad size for a bonefish. They obviously go a little bigger than that. Red drum. I remember when I was a low level catching red drum in, in Florida. Everglades in Florida, cool. Wow, it used to fill your net up so fast. Because you're a low level, it just absolutely filled the net too quick. a bite on this rod just as I was about to pick up the other rod Tarpon. there's a permit cool look at that one that one reeled in really weird it just sat wow that was really weird, wasn't it? It just literally sat on top of the water and it reeled in like it weren't nothing. Unique permit. I told you you can catch it on bait. That's crazy. I reeled that in so easy. Didn't even give a fight. Normally they fight like mad. Um, one of those have got the large minnows on. That one's got the shiners. That's that one, Rod 5. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, let's see if we can hit something on this rod again it'd be good fun I think they're ever going to add troll into the game mm. 
they could, but if they did, you know, it's going to be, it'd have to be quite a big map and quite a straight map. So, yeah, it'd have to be an insanely long map, so that way you can cover the ground, you know. There we go. We waited our few seconds before we striked. Yeah, you'd need a lot of straight. Like, Blue Crab is a good place to, is definitely a good place to do it. Although it's not really straight, it is kind of straight, so you can kind of start from here and, yeah, go all the way up. Yeah, it could be possible. I'd like them to add a, a really old-fashioned sword boat fish type thing. A, a bobbin motor as well. So as you're going along, you just see like... Bob, 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 bob. <laughs> yeah, one of those old-fashioned motors. That'd be nice. Also a big boat as well, so that the way... Uh, more than one person can fish on it. I definitely think they're going to be doing that at some point. Like, there's no, no word about it yet. But I definitely think at some point they're going to do it where you are able to to fish on a Pacific boat with your, with, with randoms or, or your friend or something. I think they are going to do that at some point. Like, there is no word to say that there is, but that's just something that some everybody has asked for. For a long time and fishing planet are really good at listening to the community you know when we ask for things to be adjusted and stuff you know as long as a lot of people ask for the same thing they do tend to to listen to the players so yeah hopefully one day they'll add a boat so you can fish on there with random people or or friends that you add that'd be cool Let's see a top and jump up. Mm. Nope. Well, there you go. Somebody caught a unique striped bass. They are still about. I'm guessing that's drum. Yep. Yeah. Black drum. They give a good fight. When you catch those as unique. The black drum do put up a good fight. The red drum do as well. But the black the black drums fight that a little bit harder, at least I that's what I've noticed. <coughs> <clears throat> There's a snook. Well, although they have definitely nerfed blue crab in the hot spots, you still catch at a good pace, so that's nice. I'll definitely say I'm catching at a good a good pace. If we're not catching on the lure, then we're getting the fish on the bait. So good pace of fishing. That's the way I like to play the game. Fish after fish. Little bone fish there. That's going to hold one hand, isn't it? Bait rods are getting a lot of interest right now, aren't they? That's on the large minnow. That looks like a tarpon. Yep, that's tarpon. You can always tell they jump out of the water. Well, that was easy to re reel in, and that looks like a big fish. Wow, look at that. You just wouldn't think it. You definitely... That's what I mean. Sometimes some of those big fish... They use their weight against you. And they use that weight against you to make it harder to reel in. But then sometimes when it's like that, you can just reel it in so fast. You wouldn't think it that, that was a unique fish. 
Same as the permit that we reeled in. You wouldn't... There's no way you'd think that was a unique fish. It reeled in so easy. Look at the size of that thing. I think maybe we should... Uh, we should put more large minnows on after that. I know the large minnows will will always work for the unique tarpon, but I was hoping to get a few a few drum as well. That's why I mixed up the baits a little bit. Put two rods out with the large minnow. Another tarpon. Forty-one pound. Oh, it looks like we're going to end up ranking up. Not that that really matters, but I guess at least we get a couple of bait coins out of it. That's always the good thing. Both going off. <coughs> Adjust that. Just a little bit. There we go. see me a little bit more before you can only literally see just my head XP grinding better on blue crab or weeping willow I'd probably say weeping willow like here you can catch a lot of fish you can catch a lot of tarpon and stuff but yeah weeping willow there's yeah you can catch uniques back to back although you can catch unique here back to back I'd say there's more of a time gap between that unique fish so yeah, I'd definitely say Weeping Willow. Most people say Blue Crab, do they? I would have said, I would definitely say Weeping Willow. Can't seem to catch many tarpon. Always go to the hot spots, man. If you go to the hot spots for, for tarpon, you'll always catch them. Always use a 6 op hook. Use Barbless, so that way it gives you more XP as well. on that one there I only had a normal six I didn't even have a barbless on that one I only just noticed that yeah if you fish the hot spots for tarpon you'll always catch them now, tarpon do give really good XP though Yeah, I tried both, and weeping is a lot is far better in your opinion. Yeah, as I said, I think so as well. Uh, weeping willow. The only reason why I like I do like weeping willow. It is a great place. The only reason why I don't fish there too often is because I always have to keep then changing all of my rods all over and stuff, and it's just a little bit of a pain to keep changing it back and forth all the time. If I didn't have to change it, I probably would fish there more often. Although I can use these rods and I can use peas and sweet corn and stuff. Sometimes I go there and because i got quite a bit of cash, I try and be a little bit fancy and mix up different ground baits, use different boilies and stuff like that. 
Not that it really makes much of a difference, to be honest, or at least I've never noticed. You use those really expensive baits and you use the cheap baits. It's still, you're still catching fish. I still catch fish when I've tried to use fancy baits and expensive ground baits and stuff. But then I just use standard baits. I don't notice any difference at all. I always seem to catch those uniques either way. Five to six in the morning. Five hundred and sixty pounds in the net. That's that's really good. One hour in game time nearly. Five hundred and sixty pounds, that's that's pretty decent. For Blue Crab Island. Obviously if I was fishing somewhere else I could get a lot more because there's bigger fish, but that's not bad though. Five hundred and sixty pound. That's pretty decent. back to that just so that way we can see Probably am better off jumping to the next day because we caught that unique tarp, and I probably will after this. We'll have one more reel-in with this one. Or actually, we could head up, uh, go 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 for uh, some unique gar, I guess. Give that a go up there. We didn't fish there for too long. We'll head back over that way. there on the water I always say one last cast I, I, I do that in real life as well you know I say one last cast so then that's it we, we, we're going one last cast one last cast that one last cast always turns into about 20 casts doesn't it <laughs> always always Red drum. Oh no, it's a unique snook. Oh, not quite. Was a bit of interest there. It changed it. It changed its mind. No takers. All right, let's head up the other side then. Um, change over to there. And then we spawn back at the other one. There we go. <clears throat> Yeah, let's fish over this way a little bit. What weather have we got? What weather have we got for the next day? Let's have a look. Oh, it's going to be raining again, isn't it? Yep. Is that sunny? It is. Oh. As it's a sunny day, I might... Mm, do it yeah no nah. yeah no nah, yeah okay I can't make up my mind 
<laughs> I can't make up my mind we're gonna fish here Let's see if we can get more of those striped bass they were being a bit stubborn weren't they get some striped bass out here I'll put a couple on that marker then I will fire a couple past it around near it past it and that one I got a normal normal hook on that oh. put barbless there we go mm. well then I think shiners yeah Rod out as well. Yeah, there you go. Normally, the bass, I think they're around about 6. Around about 6 a.m. normally. But uh, we'll have a little go with that for a little bit and see what happens. Have a few casts with this popper. See if we get any interest here with that. Didn't take long. Is that is that permit? I think. Oh no, it's not. It's a tarpon. I honestly thought that was a permit. Uh, no, yeah. Well, it's completely different, but still. <laughs> There's the fish. Yeah, yeah, there's so many different ways to mix up ground bait. That's why sometimes I do head back into Weeping Willow and I spend crazy money on all different baits and different, different smells and stuff that I can mix together. I've tried many different ones. My dad was saying to me the other day, he said, uh, have you ever used any of the Texas rigs or Carolina rigs and stuff? And I said to him, Abby, he said, oh, he said, oh, I've tried using them a few times, he said, but I'm not a big fan of them. I said, yeah, no, nah, me neither. Although I, I would probably use uh, some of those rigs in real life. I don't, yeah, here I don't really. Just the leader. Most of the time I use mono leaders. Unless I'm catching sharks or the tiger fish. And then I'd put on a titanium leader so they don't bite it off but other than that most of the time I use mono leaders close feeder if that's striped bass that could be a good size if but it isn't another permit See, I know they they do like that hunch runner, so I'll have one more cast with this popper. I 
and then we'll put on the hunch runner. Some crap. Bonefish, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh wow, I couldn't have timed that any more perfect. <laughs> I started to reel a fish was there, hit that strike and bang it was on. No, I think that was a snook. That was perfect timing though. Couldn't have timed that any better. Yeah, snook. This is on shiners, so this can be strike best. Nope. Unique snook. Oh, nearly. Now let's put on the hunch runner. It's not in there. <clears throat> it's not going to give me a chance to use it, is it? Right, quick, let's get a sneaky cast in. So this one is all you do is just keep your finger on real. We'll do a few at real speed too and then try a couple at real speed one. See if we hook into anything. Nothing that time. I think maybe real speed two could be too fast. I'll take it down to real speed one maybe. Oh, a little interest. No, it's gone. Oh, is it going to take it down? It's not taking it down for some reason. Oh, let's cast now. Okay, it lets me do it now. That was weird. I'm sure you used to be able to do that. <laughs> Sure, you used to be able to. All right, try it. Try real speed one. It might have been moving through the water too fast. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
cramps. Wow, striped bass on a cramp. Look how beautiful that is. It looks so good. That's definitely the best looking fish in here. There are lots and lots of detail. I say it's the best looking fish in here. That's probably <coughs> the best looking fish on the game to me anyway. And that again is probably because I like to catch, catch bass in real life. All the bass though. That one, the large mouth bass, the shoal bass. They look really good. And that is just because it's my favourite fish, bass, so, yeah. It probably is a fish that could look better. The speckled bass looks good as well. I'm quite surprised we haven't had no interest on this hunch run, if I'm honest. I'll put the buzz bait on here. That'll get us something, even if it's just the snook. That would definitely get us something. Shiners. There's me saying snook. I had ten to six now, so there should definitely be the time where we're going to get that bigger striped bass. Seventy-one foot. That's what. That's the other reason why I like this, this rod as well. It, even if you're using light gear, you can get some good range on it. You're back. Good to see you back, Doug. <clears throat> you're busy today, are you? in that time <clears throat> I'm just gonna do straight reel keep my finger on the reel see if we get any hits like that As much as it is nice playing other different games and new games and stuff, it has been nice because it's a little something different. So it's been good because I've had a little break from Fishing Planet. Rather than playing it every single day, I've been playing other stuff. So it's been nice to come back, back onto it. it. Makes you appreciate the game that little more. We'll do some stop and go. Stop and going always works better.
Wow, not even a greedy snook out. That sunrise. Oh wow, that was such a late reaction from my strike there. As there's me looking at the scenery, I'm not even looking at <laughs> what I'm here for. That's a good sized fish. Uh, that that is bass. That'd definitely be unique. I don't know if it is though. I'm guessing that's probably a permit or tarpon. I don't know. I saw its fin there. It looks a oh no, I think there's striped bass. I think it is. No, it's not. Wow, black drum. That was greedy. A black drum on a lure. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the red drums take it as well sometimes on the buzz beat. <coughs> That's why I said I like catching those black drum. They do put up a good fight. There you go. There's a striped bass though. Beautiful looking fish. interest there again back on that crab it's not sure if it wants it <laughs> yeah, it definitely don't know if it wants it, does it? <clears throat> oh, I messed that one up. I feel like with this controller I have to pull the trigger in more. I miss my old controller. In that time, we didn't get we didn't get no more bites on the rods. Or this time, I'm gonna move over to the other side. I'm gonna go for gar like I was planning. I weren't letting him get away that time. <laughs> I definitely won't. <coughs> <clears throat> I don't know what fish it is, but I weren't letting it get away. There's a snook. 
Well, where's a snook? As I said, can always rely on a snook to take your bait. Take it forward then. Do a little bit of even in here. Oh, look at that. That looks good. All that proper spins around when you first take it out. They all did that. Lots of movement on that water there. Now that wouldn't be long. The amount of movement there. Thin. I'm gonna put that one out before before we pick that one up. Cool, that had a bit of tension up high there. That's a unique snook then. Oh wow, no, not quite. That did take the tension up proper on the rod and on the line. Not getting a chance to use that spinning rod at the minute. Not a bad thing though. I missed it. Just gonna speed reel that. one's going as well. There it is. The one time I don't say unique snook is the one time it always pops up. This one's got a bit of weight to it as well. Another back to back. Oh wow, not even close, 10 pounds. That is a weaker rod though, so that's probably why the tension was up more. get a chance to use this a 
Yeah, I didn't think I would. Another snook. I'm back. Good to see you back, man. Trying to use that spinning rod if I get a chance. Trophy long nose gar. Nice looking fish they are. Yeah, now let's quickly cast this one. I just want to try and reel it in one time without picking up another rod if I can. Just see if I get any interest on it. just dropped off a care package some hot coffee and uh, some nice sandwiches oh I missed that it's because I was looking at the reflection over there to the left where my face cam is at just literally above the face cam where the sun's shining through the trees there I'm so bothered about looking at the surroundings oh I missed it again <laughs> Beautiful. There you go. Now I can look at it. I can't believe that. Again, I missed it. Got a bit of movement on the water. Missed it again. Beautiful. too high to the surface when we're getting closer. Not surprised we didn't have any takers there on the buzz bait to be honest. Another snook. I think I might I think I might end the stream there people just because um, yeah if I can I want to eat some dinner and stuff and then maybe <coughs> uh, 
maybe later on tonight I might be able to either put out another video or, or another stream or something. Yeah, hopefully I can do another stream later. I'm not. It's not guaranteed, but we'll see. Oh wow, jeez. Yeah, thanks for subscribing, man. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, I appreciate it. That actually did make me jump. That's awesome. Right, so yeah, I'm going to end the stream here because I'm going to try, if I can, to do another live stream later. If not, there will be a video, but I will try my best to come back with another stream. I'm not sure if it's going to be Fishing Planet or someone else, I don't know. I guess we'll see uh, We'll see what happens. But yeah, if I go and eat something now, I'm, hopefully I can come back and do another stream. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Not a bad stream this one. Four hours, nearly four hours, 40 minutes. It's been a little minute since we've done some streams on Fishing Planet. So that's why I did one yesterday and today. Don't worry though. When those updates come out on Fishing Planet, I'll always let you guys know. As long as you are subscribed, you won't miss out for those updates. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. It's good to see some old names popping back up in chat as well. That's always a nice thing to, to see. Thanks for everyone who smacked that like button as well. We got up to 19 likes on this stream. Not too bad. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. We'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.